What's up, everybody? I'm Eric. I'm the Porsche. We have to welcome you back after a month long, a long time of just distance from under the radar. We are finally back to it. First of all, we wanted to give you an update on everything that we've been working on over the past month. And that I actually have been interning for the Chris Canty Foundation here in Charlotte, also with the Celebrity Magazine and LetHerEarnReport.com. Yes, I've been working on putting together my first issue of Sisters Keeper, which will be a magazine for black teenage girls, um, 12 to 19. And I've been working on that. I have a couple writers, a couple people helping me put some things together for the first issue. So it's what I've been working on, trying to set up some other stuff, little <coughs> projects that I'm working on. So, And at the same time, of course, as everybody knows, Terrence J and Roxy are leaving Once It's Park oh, and they have yeah. opened up the auditions to everybody in the world to actually audition this part. Actually, we've auditioned for this show as well. Our tapes are on YouTube. Please go check them out. Type in the Porsche Live, type in Eggville, watch our video. You know, hit us up, tweet about us, vote for us. But anyway, we enough about that, enough about what we're doing, we're doing a lot of things. But let's get into the real reason of this show. Let's go with the first topic. As everybody knows, we've been gone for a minute, so the start of a new hit series on VH1, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. I promised that I was not watching this. <laughs> I said after the first episode, I wasn't going to watch. It's so, it's so crazy. It's so, but I've been watching it because it, it, uh, it brings me in every week. It's I, a lot I, of I just, drama. I so, just can't help it. I watch it. It's great TV because a lot of drama. But right off the gate, of course, as everybody knows, we always got to talk about Stevie J, Mimi Faust, and Jocelyn Hernandez. So, this, this situation can't get any worse. I mean, you have, a, it's a, literally a love triangle. and It's two, it's two side chicks. They're both And true. one guy. Because Mimi is not a wife. She's not a main she's girl. She's a, a side she's chick. She's a baby mama. And Jocelyn. the fact that she's... The fact that over the past five, over the first you know few episodes she's been getting her strength she's been saying that she's gonna leave Stevie but every 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 episode we see him together and then he still leaves from there and goes to Jocelyn because if I can cheat you like aren't you a female like trash and all I gotta do is take out to eat and sing her a little song not even like five seconds and, and buy her a house that I'm not even you, gonna live in and give you ten percent which I know I'm not gonna give to you. Mm -mm. And you're back in good. You're back in good terms. I can do that every single day. How she? How she years? could have done that? Well, 15, they've been on and off for say, fifteen oh, years, but they true. have a child together. And I mean, he, and she should at least require. That's the. That's the. That's the. That's the big difference for me. Mimi doesn't require him to do those things that he's supposed to do. Now, as a man, you would want to do them regardless, mm -hmm. but she doesn't require him to do them. Yes. And they have a child together, so he yeah. has to... But apparently, he has five other children uh, and apparently was about to have six with, with Jocelyn because she, she got, got her pregnant. And then the he abortion. had her go get an abortion and didn't even go in there with her. See, there is not enough record deals in the world to put be putting your putting yourself into this predicament to be sacrificing your dignity your self esteem everything there's not enough there's not a good enough yeah. record deal there's not a good enough single for for CBJ to write or to produce well, and that, the same, to, to, and to put yourself through this and at the same and then time he's too, telling you lies the whole time <laughs> he's telling you lies he's te going home and tell Mimi lies then I haven't even heard a single from you yet. I mean, like, I would, I would think when the show came on, you'd have a single that was ready out. to drop. I mean, mm -hmm. Mimi, figure it out. I know you want the family. I, 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 I know you want the family thing. Either leave but him or leave either him. Either leave him or leave him. And then Jocelyn, you just and keep. I guess just keep tossing it and then see what happens. You might let <laughs> me. You might let a record deal. No, you what, never know. I've said this several times on Twitter, but if I was Mimi, I would tell Stevie to say goodbye, Mimi, and hello, child support. I'd just be go getting, for the money. I'd be getting ten percent and child support. And just go for the money. And a side note: looking on me, take him. Apparently, CJ post Jocelyn. We're gonna leave. We're gonna leave right there. We're gonna stop right there. Now, as far as let's move on to another couple. Erica and Scrappy oh put them paws on them. Okay. <laughs> first, first of all, all <laughs> Erica and Scrappy off the gauges. First of all, that's another is that's this. another baby mama situation. Drama. He doesn't really Stevie J and Little Scrappy are identical because they have baby mamas who they don't respect. They mess around on them. And the my whole issue with Scrappy is 
you left Erica, who was your baby mother, and mm-hmm. went with someone else. When she dropped you for somebody else, you came running back to your baby mama. She and then you, you want to ask her, or you want to wonder why she's not affectionate. That trust that she has, like she, you have to earn her trust back. You can't just come back and say, oh, I'm a little scrappy. You're going to be with me. A little scrappy. And I can do what I want, but I want you to be at home when I come home to give me a massage, do all this stuff. You have to earn that. And she's smart enough to... To require that, I'm guessing. And I, and I I'm will, guessing Erica watched Black Girls Rock. Apparently, <laughs> the whole situation. That's that's. I'm that sorry. Is, you just it, it, you just, it, it, need just so much into Black women it. and women in general. We just need to stop having babies. Okay. I'll give Erica that. She she has enough sense to require certain things, and if she doesn't get it, then she doesn't give something in return. If she doesn't get something for what she's gonna give, and so I guess. Even though she had a child, which she still has that in her pocket. So whenever they, if they, I think they did break up because he was Bucky from Flavor of Love. Which, wait. No, 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 Where no, did no. they pull no. Bucky out of the woodwork? Did they, did VH1 owe her like five, five, five minutes, minutes of fame? Five, minutes, five yeah. more minutes of fame? Like, because she was on Flavor of Love and Charm School. Did they owe her five more minutes they and then like, they put her on the she show? Let, she, she left Charm School too early, I guess. I guess she left too early. She, she like extra Where did they pull her from? So shout, but shout out to K. Michelle. She is hilarious. And I think that she is... You have to respect her for being on her grind. She's been through a lot. And she has you know, dealt with what Jocelyn's going through. I mean, you know, you're dating somebody. You're being... Um, I guess you're... Bring your, um, you're emotionally attaching yourself to somebody in the hopes of, you know, them helping you out. But whatever. I just, I think she, she's hilarious. She's giving us some, some <laughs> one liners that are gold and like, I, I can't even believe it. She is hilarious. Other shows that we actually watch. Um, we on, don't just watch Ratchetness. We, we, we actually watch good shows. <laughs> on the Style Network, they actually have a lot of good shows that are out now. Um, T and Tamara have their show. I That's been that doing show. amazing. Um, showing their li- showing their lives, basically deal- um, dealing with Tia being a new mom, Tamara being um, a new wife, and just dealing with their lives every single day. Yeah, so trying, a good show. I think that the best thing about that show is that they're trying to... they For all these years, they've been twins, and they've been Tia and Tamara. Now... Yeah. She, now they want to be Tia Maori Hardrick and they want to be Tamara Maori Housing. Yeah, so I think that that's it's a it's good. It's a good, it's a good friction between them. And, and congratulations to Tamara who's expecting her first child, and um, of course Cree is adorable. So this show that come on the side network, another show, a new trend now in on in reality TV is, is a lot of stuff about hair. Hair shows. Um, L.A. hair, uh, Jersey licious, and new Chicago licious. <laughs> um, I actually watch Chicago licious. I, I, I know. Don't judge me, but it means something different. I mean, I'm I'm tired of watching the same old, same old. So. And but Chicago Licious is good because they, have, they have a lot of characters. I don't think it's very much scripted, or I think it's, it's just, just like, you know, they, put, they, they, they have these situations and this is how they deal with them. I like McCray, he's my favorite character. I like AJ as well. I like um, Valencia. I like Howard. Crazy. I, Howard is retarded. Valencia is crazy. She has a big afro and she is just colorful to say the least. And Valencia and, is retarded. Um, <laughs> and, and Nikki, the, the, uh, the vegan the, the, the vegan goddess. And yeah, then, I like, okay, I like and her too. And, and, I just and, never knew her and name. And then, of course, Q, the the, uh, the sales manager who. Austin. Austin. The other makeup, and Control, she's, the two makeup artists. She's pretty. But to make sure people and they, you know, I guess they it's a good show. have exciting situations that they put put themselves in, and then you just see it play out. So I like that show, and yeah. they can all do hair, so they do it's, exactly. It's, they it's do actually they actually have talent to have a show. You can actually show it now. That's other shows to be watched. We're not just all There's about ratchet show stuff. Like, what other show do you like? The Soul Man with Cedric the Entertainer. That and, that's um, a good show DC too. Nash. That's a really good show, and I and I love that show because it's a positive, black scripted show that. It it involves religion because the church um, boys isn't. yeah boys he was a um, the main character mm-hmm. boys played by Cedric the Entertainer he was a um, he was an R and B star Our but it, but it's funny the show is funny I love Niecy Nash it's, um I, I I've loved her for years but she's really funny on there and the whole show is is really good and it's it's a good fun family black show and, and it's it, really 
you yeah. know, and, and they really had, rare nowadays. And they and, and they had special guests like um, to Tamar and and mm-hmm. Trina and Braxton's been on the show recently. So it's a good show. You should check it out. I was on TV Land. Whether you are, we can't do Direct TV. So. Yeah. Direct TV. Shout out to Dish Network. Well, actually, no, I lie. You can. Style Network. Direct TV still have Style Online. Network. No, 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 no. Direct TV. We still have Style, True TV, and TV. No, TV Land's gone. Oh, that's what that's gone. So, Soul Man, you got to find it online. But anyway, it's yep. been gone for me. We got to take it back a little bit. The 2012 BET Awards has just passed an amazing night, I would say. The Whitney Houston tribute was amazing to have. People that you haven't seen lately. Yeah, Monica. Tribute. That Brandy, Brandy come out. Shaka Khan Shaka came Khan. out with, new, with a new size. Shout um, out to Shaka Khan. You look good, girl. You look real good. Who else was came out there? Um, Her oh, mother. Her brother, her, her Mom, brother Pat Houston, and Mom her and mother Cece. Mm-hmm. They both performed, and I thought that she, I thought that her mother did really well considering the circumstances. I think it was really good that she that she sung a gospel song instead of one of her, you know, one of Whitney's songs. She sung "Bridge Over Troubled Water," so that was um, good it was really that. good. And her brother sang as well, so mm-hmm. it was really good. But the topic of the BET was that a lot of people just went just went in on Twitter, myself included, and of course she as well. See how she's getting ready? She's doing all the noises. With her mouth. I'm ready. I'm jumping in. I'm jumping in. <sighs> Wow. You look you look beautiful in, in all that white. I'm just saying. But first of all, yeah. I know she's dating Kanye West, but why is she in the front row? Of, she's, of, she, she's sitting she's sitting with her man. Whatever. She's a little and, those two. But anyway, I just every time that Kanye West was on the screen, they panned to Kim Kardashian. I mean like I don't oh. She's excited, I guess. Like when she was like when they were performing, every time they they would go to Kanye or Jay Z or Beyonce, because they had Jay, it was be it was Beyonce, Jay Z, Kanye, and then Kim Kardashian. This is like every time I see Kanye. Uh, oh, oh no, this is what my this is what the problem I had. Every time Kanye got up, Kim getting up. Every time Kanye clap, Kim clap. Every time somebody come who don't want an award, they go by Jay Z, they dap up Jay Z, they say hey to Beyonce, hey Beyonce, then they dap up Kanye, and then she want a hug too. Like, like wait, you not this, in this? Wait, wait. Like, who who this Kim K when it's going on stage? Jay Z. Jay Z like was like, uh, was like uh, did a pet did, did a pet show that kept going. He's it like, was, yeah, it thank like, you. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> but I just thought that it was. Man, I just didn't want to see her every time I see Kanye. I mean, it's Kim. Like when they were like the first, like we don't need a reaction shot from her. We know it, see we, her. I don't. I don't want to see her. And then they had her sitting beside Nicki Minaj, which that was just a reason for me to turn the channel because it's too. That's the top. Not I have. I have she legitimate hate, rate. I have legitimate reasons hate, to not. She the, hates Megan Good, Carrie Hilson, Gabrielle Union, Kim Kardashian, and Nicki Minaj. That's and top five. That's top five. But there's more to that list. Why she hates them? Because she doesn't like them no, pe- as people. No, I have that's legitimate reasons is. to not. First of all, I don't like Gabrielle Union as an actress. She was in Love and Basketball, which is one of my favorite movies. She was the one that said, oh, I didn't know Nike made dresses. I would have slapped her right then. Mm-hmm. I, I think that that's, that, that's, that's but, the origin but, of but, why but, I don't but, like her. Saying, you I can't. Think, you can't hate her because she's playing a but role. But she always plays that role, though. Just like Man Good, all, it never has clothes on. That's well, then she will now because she married a preacher man. So. But- we're going to take it back. We're going to bring it back a little more. And right now, we're going to get into our throwback jam of the week. So I'm an old school. Shout out to him and be 21 finally in a couple of days. On Monday, 23rd. But... I think because I, I like a lot of old school hip hop, so I, this song really really brings and gives me hype every single day. But I thought that gem of the week is P Rock and Seal Smith with Troy, acronym. They reminisce over you. You better know. You better. I'm a fortune. I'm there. This is under the radar. Younger than my mama, but I really got beatings with the girl of trauma. In single parenthood, there I stood. By the time she was 21, had a